Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go ahead and discuss the important topics for ISI exam 2022. So first of all, let's talk about microeconomics. From microeconomics, what you should be focusing on is the theory of consumer surplus. Oh, sorry, uh, is the consumer behavior theory where you talk about utility functions, where you talk about what is the, you know, I'm expecting questions like questions on quasi linear utility functions, on substitute goods utility functions, etc. Then you do producer theory. There can be a question combining monopoly and oligopoly or combining what happens under uh, you know, when two firms, uh, when a duopoly becomes a monopoly. So with producer theory, actually, as I just said, it talks about market structure. You should be focusing on monopoly, price discrimination, duopoly, co not Bertrand model. And then you should be fo focusing on welfare economics. So you should be doing general equilibrium very, very uh, thoroughly. It's a fixed thing that comes. So this is the first part from microeconomics. Then public economics. I'm expecting one question that combines externalities and public good. and asymmetric information as well. Then the third one that you should be doing is international. Not in much detail, but fixed things. So you have to do Ricardian model, Hegerolian model, and in Hegerolin, you should be focusing on three main things. Factor price equalization theorem. How the factor prices across different countries become equal. Stouffer Samuelson's theorem. And the most important, which is the Rubinsky effect. Okay, then let's go to macroeconomics. In macroeconomics, you should be doing national income accounting, simple Keynesian model. Definitely, there will be a question which will use the multiplier effect, which will give you an implicit model, like something like this. Maybe this also becomes like this. Something like this. They can make any model. So an implicit model and they will ask you to find the equilibrium. Then you should be doing the IS, LM models well. AD, AS model. Money, banking. Then you should be focusing on the Phillips curve. And some part of open economy macroeconomics. As I just mentioned, you know, what if net exports become a function of something? This is an open economy. So how to solve for open economy is what you should be focusing on. Then let's go to development economics.
from the point of view of development economics, you should be going ahead and doing Haridomo model. And you should be doing solo model, to say the least. These two models are important and you must be focusing on these models for sure. Now let's go to maths and stats. So in maths. I like to divide the entire maths in three parts. Algebra, linear algebra, and calculus. So under algebra, you should be doing AP, GP, series, sequences, permutation and combination, polynomial equations, etc. Then for linear algebra, you should be doing vectors, linear transformation, matrices, and system of linear equation. Okay. And under calculus, you should be doing functions, limit, continuity, differentiation, Integration. Integration, you should know all type of integration. Indefinite integral, integration by parts, integration by substitution. Then the most important topic, one question comes for sure. Convexity and quasi-convexity. Then you should be focusing on Lagrange, which is constrained optimization. and implicit function theorem and at last homogeneous which is easy but also homothetic functions okay this is what you should be doing in maths now let's talk about stats in stats, you should be doing probability, right? Then very less, very less chances of coming, but measures of central tendency, dispersion. Then this is important, correlation and regression. There are high chances that this will come. Then you should be doing probability distributions this is very important where you learn about what are the different kind of distributions possible and then you do some standard distributions like normal binomial you understand what are tests also f test chi square t test z test so this is what is important from the point of view of stats so this is more or less what you should be focusing on for this year's entrance exam of ISI.